Hello Capricorn and welcome to your monthly tarot card reading for the month of September 2016. Um, I do want to mention um, this is a very general reading for all Capricorns. Um, so it's just the theme can come out and basically what energies in that, but you know, they can have different meanings for each of you. So, um, you know, personal reading is the only way to go um, to get really com a comprehensive reading. Um, cause I get messages sometimes saying, well, you know, how this, how that, and how does it pertain to me? Well, like I said, it's a general reading for all Capricorns. So, and if you do want a personal reading, private reading, um, I do have, um, my website up. I finally got that up. I did all myself, so it took a while, so, <laughs> but it's up and it's in the, um, description box below. You'll see that. And also I, on my uh, description below, you could find me in other sites that I'm on and I'm now on Patreon too where on um, the fan page and I do also post my videos there so you can check those all out too so let's get on with your um, reading for September All right. Well, there's, you have some major arcana cards. That means there is change, transition, and changes in your life. Usually, you know, when you see the major arcana, there are changes. Um, looks like you're, there is a sense of studying, learning, changes coming up walking out of the month with uh, point zero, you know, taking that risk or taking everything you learned out with you. Anyway, let's start with the reading here. Four of Cups. The theme coming in kind of into the month, I kind of say that that's the theme. What that is saying to me, like I said, it could work so many ways, but the theme kind of here is, I like to say sometimes count your blessings, you know, or, you know, it's a sense of, um, cause what I'm feeling here with the rest of the cards is some of you are learning some stuff. It seems like you are, um, there's a sense of higher education. You may be learning some stuff and spirituality, um, really like evolving within your own spirituality. And here it's like all these ideas may be coming to you and you're, or you're struggling with that. And here there's, you know, an offer or an idea coming in and you're wondering, should I take it or not? Or you may be not even feeling it. You know, it's like you could be so into your thoughts or that it's like being in a restaurant and uh, you're sitting there and somebody passes by that's interesting and you didn't even notice, you know, that could be the way it is. But it's also um, maybe getting some opportunities or coming up with some solutions within yourself or maybe you're in school and you're trying to pick which course is the best for you. and you're undecided what to do. That's kind of the sense. That's what's coming in here. And then you get the hermit card and the hermit is saying to me, some of you are really, um, uh, staying within yourself. Some of you are really taking on some studies. Some of you could be have traveled or are in a sense of traveling or communicating with people, debating some ph philosophical ideas, um, learning some things. And, um, it also saying there's a sense of being, isolated or really into your thoughts. This is also this, um, telling me, yeah, it's, I'm picking up on some of you may be really learning, maybe even in school now, but there is some sense of spirituality here too. Someone is really dwelling um, deep, in, deep into their spirituality and learning. There's a sense of learning justice for some reason. It's kind of coming out here too, because it's um, the feel I get on that too, uh, law or whatever it is. But that's what's coming here, and it's a good card. I like that. And Six of Pentacles, this is telling me also that some of you could be very generous on um, debating. With the Hermit here, it's telling me you could be debating some thoughts, ideas, projects, or that going on um, with some with uh, people around you or in that too. So you could be um, also uh, traveling with a group of people. And there's also a sense of um, collaboration here. 
um, maybe money making ideas and going back and forth. There's also a sense of um, investing in some kind of spiritual um, avenue. It could be in an institution or maybe uh, traveling for it. So that's the sense that we got getting here. And the Four of Swords is saying that some of you may be on vacation, may have taken the spiritual course, or you are dwelling deep into in, into yourself. So this is another way it's working out too. You could be, um, there's a sense of adventure, contemplating the sense of adventure and putting some ideas and stuff together, or, you know, thinking of taking a vacation. Some of you are just like, some things may be stalled and may take some time. There could be some resolution to, to um, some of these areas um, of deep introspection or what's going on here. You know, it depends on who we are talking about. And the death card. So there is an end to a situation and a whole new beginning. And this is also trying to evaluate maybe some with, with the hermit card in that it could be saying that you're maybe deciding, um, abandoning some philosophical ideas. You could be abandoning um, the way you did some stuff, um, like in terms of um, what you were taught. Um, you're evaluating that or even your spirituality, um, religious thoughts and ideas. You may be um, speaking with other people about it, reading about it, and now trying to debate where to go from there because there is a, a, there is a sense of um, there it, well, it is. It's endings to this and moving forward into um, a whole new path. And then, you know, you're leaving them up with the fool and there nothing screams more like an ending and moving into a new path, like the fool and the death together. So here it's like, um, you coming out with, with all this knowledge or whatever it is, or, and with the four of swords coming with the fool, you could be um, traveling, you know, or virtually traveling. So the fool is like taking new risks. Um, grasping some of this in the beginning of the month, but you got um, the, the opportunities or the thoughts and decisions or even boredom. If some of you may be bored and, or just got too melancholy with all that that's going on and there at the pool, you know, you've decided to move forward, try something new, go on vacation, starting a whole new, you know, you're point zero. So it's like you're just moving ahead, doing what you want. And then the underlining theme is the four of wands. So, you know, the focus is going to be kind of shifting into like the home area. Um, for some of you, this could be thoughts of maybe um, taking all this in and bringing into a um, home project, maybe remodeling the home, maybe starting a business in the home because um, it also some kind of change and um, status in some of your ideas. It's also a happy home. Um, it could be um, parties and celebrations or get togethers. So this is just like an underlining theme where um, you're very inspired or you're taking everything that you put in and you're building a solid, um, there's a st this sense of stability to it. You know, four of wands is a four is a really stable number. So a lot of this that's been going on during the month, you could just be um, forming some of your ideas or, paths you want to take and they're, you know, it's becoming something certain and stable, which is good for it and, and working on it. So let's pull a card from this deck to see if there's any other messages to add. Okay. There you go. Power of joy. You came up with the power of joy. So, you know, it's everything that we came in with the four of cups, kind of trying to be making some kind of decision or you're getting some offers or trying to put your thoughts together. And then you come up with the fool. That's the fool always has a sense of relief and happiness with him. So, and the four of wands, these are really good cards all together here. So, you know, the power of joy. So there's something that's just really going to bring you, I think going into October, um, really pleasant mood. And to me, sparks of ideas and, um, uh, moving forward energy and things becoming more stabilized, whatever that's going on in your life. So anyway, um, Capricorn, that was your reading for the month of September, 2016 it is, it is a, a really hard month because, and I do see changes for the lot, 
it, it's an eclipse month too. So um, tomorrow I'll be posting my regular weekly readings. So check those out. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye.